Hi, uh, my name's Noel, I'm a psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on my um, channel, then do subscribe. And if you're watching this on my website, then go to the contact us page if you'd like to get these um, videos sent to you without any effort. Um, if you fill in your details there and ask me to add you to the email list, I will. Um, so today I want to talk a little bit about emotions, which Oddly enough, I'm a psychotherapist. I talk about emotions a lot. Um, one of the things that commonly happens um, when somebody comes to see me is that they they have a list of feelings and emotions which are valued as good and a list of feelings and emotions that are valued as bad. Um, often there's a confusion there in the person that's coming to see me. Um, what they generally mean is not that the, the feelings and emotions are, are bad per se, but that what happens when they have them is bad. They either feel difficult things um, or they do difficult things. Um, and it's really around the behaviour often um, that we begin to look at it. My take on it as a therapist is that there are no good or bad per se feelings. There are feelings and emotions that... Um, feel uncomfortable and some that feel better and very often whether they feel un uncomfortable or comfortable um, will depend on our own personal life history often and also the cultural expectations that come um, that we carry with us so the culture that we come from um, it's affected by gender and um, sexual orientation and family history and um, and sometimes the sort of genetic stuff that we're born with so some people are more prone towards introversion and more some more prone towards extroversion, etc. So there's a complex host of reasons why we um, individually might um, value certain types of feelings um, in, a, in a particular way, either negatively uh, or, or positively. Um, often a common emotion that people value um, negatively is anger. I want to talk about that a little bit today. Anger is uh, a feeling, an emotion, a, a physiological state, an emotional state, an intellectual state um, that has all those caveats attached to it, the cultural stuff, um, the personal history stuff. But it is also just something that we have. We have feelings of anger. It's um, a useful emotion, actually, in many ways. Um, in terms of abuse, for example, anger is often um, perverted. Anger can uh, be a really useful emotion in saying, no, I don't want that. No, that's not me. Setting a boundary. Um, and that's often how I view it um, uh, um, sort of in the therapy I sort of teach people um, how to communicate and express their anger so effectively they can say no to things that are uncomfortable and difficult in their lives um, and put up a boundary in their relationships with people but it can be very difficult for some people and it may be difficult for you to express that um, anger in a way that you're comfortable with um, typically the way anger is expressed falls into four groupings passive passive aggressive aggressive or assertive um, I generally tend to sort of work with people on developing more assertive ways of communicating their anger or communicating no I don't want that developing sort of communication styles that um, are uh, relational um, in relationship to somebody re recognizing their perspective but not losing sense of one's own perspective having somebody else's rights in mind while also having your own rights in mind and looking at the relationship between the two of you um, that's really what assertive communication is all about or an assertive um, communication of anger if you like anger is a good emotion in the sense that it gives us energy to do things and make changes. So if you're feeling angry, um, think about that. Think about whether it's actually giving you some useful information. Um, so in terms of communicating anger sort of more effectively so that you get your point across and you hold your boundary, here's a few tips really to think about it. Um, when you're communicating this anger, use a sort of non-judgmental language. If you start to label people as bad or wrong as a jerk, You've, you, you've pissed me off, you've made me this. You start to place yourself in the victim framework and accuse them of being a perpetrator. Um, you're going to quickly get into what we call the drama triangle, probably, um, which um, from which nobody wins. Somebody's a victim, somebody's a perpetrator, somebody's a rescuer. You play these roles, you get stuck. Um, nobody actually um, listens to anybody. There's no possibility of learning and change, um, which is the key point about anger, is that it can communicate something is wrong. Uh, and that I want something to change. Um, so think about that. 
What is it you want to change? And this is the second point about communicating assertively, um, asserting your needs uh, with somebody, is to know what they are. What it actually is the issue? What do you want to change? Um, is the way the person behaving uh, that you want to change? Is there something about their behaviour? Maybe they, they use an angry, or aggressive or frightening tone of voice with you and you want that to change. Uh, maybe the person is ignoring you. So every time you try and uh, raise an issue, they say, I can't talk about it right now. Maybe that's what you want to change. Uh, or something else in your love relationship with somebody. Maybe um, the way they talk about you to other people in public is um, embarrassing you. Uh, they make fun of you. They don't mean to, but they do. Um, it's just part of their style, but that's that's difficult. So again, it's about finding what is the actual issue um, that you want to communicate um, and knowing what your needs and wants are, being very clear about those and then being able to communicate them. Maybe you need to make a bullet point list. Uh, and then when you do communicate them, as well as not using sort of pejorative labelling language, um, you also um, think about your tone of voice and the setting in which you communicate things. Um, if we react to situations, we often just get caught up into autopilot, whatever that autopilot is. It's often a negative autopilot and we end up crashing into the side of the mountain again. Um, to avoid that crash into the side of the mountain, uh, what we need to do is take it onto manual and think about the setting and the type of language that we use, the tone of voice that we use, what we're communicating with our body if you remember that well maybe you don't know this I'm going to tell you that 75% um, of communication is non-verbal it's the contextual clues it's the physical body language cues it's the tone of voice cues all of these things if you think about those and they you keep your tone of voice level and calm you think about the context maybe you've made an agreement to meet somebody at a specific time you put some clear boundaries in place that that meeting is going to last for so long you give them an agenda for it so they can think about it so that you're not ambushing them they don't feel defensive um, and then you agree an, an end to the conversation which may not be an end to the um, the ongoing debate about the changes that you want but it'd be an end to the particular phase of that conversation having an ending point like it's only going to last an hour it's very important so people can be uh, predict that and think well I'll go away and think about it at the end of that hour I can do an hour but I can't do three hours or four hours or five hours and um, get into that sort of exhausting cycle. So I hope those are some useful thoughts about um, anger. So just to recap, it's, uh, it's a feeling, it's an emotion we have. Uh, it's a very positive emotion if used effectively. Um, and it can be, help us say, uh, communicate difficult um, issues um, that we have difficulty with in our relationships with people and put a boundary in place. Um, it's the core of being able to say no effectively and learning how to say no, uh, I don't want that, uh, is uh, an absolutely crucial life skill. Um, if you want to have any hope whatsoever of being able to live in this world which is very social, we are social animals and being able to say no I don't want that is an absolutely core life skill. Hope that's been useful. If you have problems around anger, either you're aggressive or passive aggressive or passive, or somebody else in your life is like that and you want to learn how to work with that, do give me a call 07506 319 745. That's 07 506 319 745. Um, let's have a chat about it and see if we can get you some help. All right. Thanks for dropping by and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.